everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today, on Shaber Shop Shenanigans, I was going to save this for late night, but I have to have this. We're going to check this out and find out what's going on. It's acting really strange. You'll see here in a second. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this is a excuse me a little fan I keep beside the bed it just got high and low it doesn't osculate or anything but you can adjust it up and down uh, I knocked it off my little pedestal I got it like a little old an old computer sitting beside the bed and I, I had it sitting on there and somehow I knocked it off I'll show you what it's doing and I think I know what the problem is but I'll put it on low see it works okay there but huh. well it was getting to where it uh, if it fell forward it would come out and touch that but I see an issue down inside there I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a little clip right back in there see that thing flipping around there's a little clip there, alright? That clip is falling off, so I gotta take this off. It needs cleaned anyway. So we're gonna take this off. Uh, try this little screwdriver. I don't know if this will work. All this is, it's clipped on here with these little clips. And most of the time they break. So if we can get this off here without breaking, that would be nice. But if it does, it's no big deal. I'll just put it back together with some zip ties. Okay, there's just little clips I'll show you here in a second. It needs cleaned up real good. This is something that came from her dad's. Right. There's uh, four of them little clips right there. See that clip? There's four of them there. Okay, now what it did was it, it actually stopped and went and stopped. That's because this thing came out. And it's because this little clip here came off of there. And what that's supposed to do, see that's kind of loose there, but what that's supposed to do is keep that tight around that shaft, okay? But that's all right. What we're going to do, I may put a little contact cement on there just to kind of help hold it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. And how's this thing come apart? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so this is built all together on the, uh, on that, it looks like. Yeah, this is all one piece. Alright, well, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out in the kitchen. I'm going to, I'm going to clean it off real good. I'm going to clean this off real good. And then I'll just probably blow this out with some compressed air or something. And, um clean it up the best we can and we'll put this back together this is just a quick video like I said I was going to wait until late night this would have been a perfect late night video but the thing of it is I really need it <laughs> I mean this really helps you know because it doesn't blow too much and it doesn't blow to where it's not enough and it does have a high and low see, so. and it's very quiet it's a very quiet fan um, Okay, I may put a little uh, drop of oil down in there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's a screw here I can take out. And that'll probably take the motor out. Let's try it. Okay. Go ahead and take this off of here. Might as well, right? We're here. And take this out. Take that, take that off. And we're going to go ahead and take this little screw out here. I did get that new piece for the boat. It came in today. It's right here. 
So if it doesn't rain tomorrow, we'll put this on. I'll show you how to put that on in case you have something similar that has an issue. So at least we can we can wash this in the sink. Now these nuts, yeah, this nut will fall out. If I don't take it out and I'll lose it. So I'll set that over there, this over here. Yeah, see that's all bolted in there together. I'm not going to mess with this because it really doesn't need it. I can blow this out, like I said, with some compressed air. And uh, I think it'll be fine. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to bore you with that because it's just just cleaning stuff. I mean, we, we all know how to. And if we don't, we even if we do, sometimes we act like we don't. So our wives don't say, hey, can you clean that for me? <coughs> don't know how. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be right back and let's put this together. Like I said, I may put some con put some contact cement on there with some of this stuff. That way if I ever have to take it apart, you know, it'll come apart a lot easier than super gluing it. So, it's just a round shaft. Uh, I am going to clean that shaft up a little bit on it. Okay, so let me get these parts cleaned up and we'll assemble it when I come back. Okay guys, we're back. Alright, so what we're going to do is first I'm going to put a little I'm just going to put a little bit of this on there. Just a tad bit. Just enough to keep it from slipping. This is contact cement. So what you're going to want to do as you can see I got that all cleaned up is put a little bit on both parts that you're going to be gluing together. It's probably overkill right there. Now I'm going to put some right down in there. Just kind of like a patching a tire, or not a tire, but a tube, an inner tube. Okay. So that way it's not it's not going to be stuck on forever. You know what I mean? So what that noise was. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my clip on here. Right about there. Squeezed it in a little bit. I'm going to take some of this off because I don't need that much on there. Alright. Now we're going to clean up pretty nice. Just an old fan. It's a cheapo fan. It's a uh, Massey, I think it is. I'm going to stick that on there. I'm not going to turn it on yet. Okay, now we're going to put this back on. Just like this. Um, we'll get our... See, it's got, a little, it's got little indentations in there for, for your nut. So your nut can only go one way and it'll hold it for you. Now we're going to stick this in here. And we're going to snug her up a little bit, like that. Yeah, messy. And we're going to so we'll try to get this where it's as straight as I can get it. I bought a fan one time, it really bothered me. The, um, what's that? The, uh, it was like just a little bit off and you couldn't straighten it it'd go too far one way or too far the other way there was no in between so I ended up taking the cage off popping this off and gluing it putting the cage back on then gluing that on straight so uh, that kind of thing bugs me that one's pretty straight there so I'm gonna go ahead and you're just gonna just kinda squeeze it back in there and there it is it's done now let's let this set up for a minute and I'll get you turned around. All I did was blew this out with some air. And uh, as you can see, just wiped it down a little bit. It'll be fine. I didn't, shit, I didn't feel like taking the motor out of it. So, that's kind of how you clean that fan. I did another one. It was a black fan. It's over on my desk, which is a, a horrible mess. I got to get it cleaned up. I was kind of in here messing around today, just kind of situating some tools and I've got a bunch of wrenches and stuff I need to get find a place for I've got almost a whole nother set of wrenches that I had found um, so I'm gonna put this up here 
I brought brought this down because I was cleaning something earlier. And I left it down here just in case we needed it, but we didn't. So, okay. Let's get you back here behind of where I'm standing. And um, I'm going to let it set for a minute. Let that glue set up. And we'll give it a shot. Okay, guys. It's been about five minutes. I think it'll be fine. With just It was just a little bit that we put on there. Yeah, I wish you'd have seen it yesterday. If you turned it, you could actually see the fan blade drop down and hitting the inside there. So let's check it out. We'll go with low. Nice. Now let's go with high. Low. High. All right. Quick and easy fix. I love this little thing because you know I mean it gets hot down here in Florida uh, a couple nights though we we got to open the window up because it got down to like 76 77 area it had a nice breeze so we got we got a bigger fan it's like on a pedestal that I that I had in here I was going to use in here but I took it in a bedroom for monkey to use and we put it in front of the window and let it suck the fresh air into the bedroom and uh so <laughs> that's where that one went but i still got this one over here the vintage looking one but it's not vintage um i don't think we ever had to do anything to that one not sure but anyway yeah we got that one it does need clean um but it does work it just takes it a second once you flip the switch on usually when you when you flip a switch on on a fan the first notch is high and that's to get it going on this one the first notch is low um, so sometimes you just like flip it on to high and then back on to low and it works beautifully uh, might need a little oil we may check that out on a late night some some night but anyway that's how you clean your little tiny fan seems to be working pretty good so like I said, it's it's quiet, you know, it's not a big, it's not a gigantic fan, it's it's kind of quiet. So, anyway guys, just want to say thanks for watching, appreciate it, thanks for supporting my channel, don't forget to check out Monkey1000 channel, and um, at the end of this video, on my outro, when it says thank you so much for watching, if you give it a second, there'll be playlists, you know, and a subscribe there, uh, if the need arises <laughs> that you want to you want to do a shea bear binge or shea barathon and um you know click on one of them playlists or you know uh i'll have two playlists a video and a subscribe button just in case you know you like my videos and uh i wish you would please hit the like button if you liked the video and if you didn't hit the dislike button twice so i know you didn't like it and where to improve on <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.